Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. Sorry I'm a day late on this, but the Battle Pass Precipice of War Part 2 City of Intrigue is now live. If you are free to play and do not have the Premium Pass, then you can start making progress on it. If you have unlocked the Premium, well you can complete this second part, along with making any progress that you may not have in the first part. However, if you are still looking at buying the premium pass, perhaps contemplating it, I would recommend waiting till the Jubilee event. We will get it here on June the 15th, which will most likely come with it a 30% discount to everything Zen market related, along with a bunch of other unique deals. You could get it then and thus claim all of your premium rewards and have enough time up until July the 18th to complete all parts at once. I may very well do that as the value just getting like a coal moat there and a second coal moat on the second part can be worth just that Zen along with then a few other rewards. It's up to you and what's really unique in this battle pass unfortunately is not really anything. From the first part here you had the packs there with the companion and mounts all of which you can obtain pretty cheaply in the game and nothing being particularly special. From what I tested with those companions none are too great anymore but can be nice to have some account wide versions that then give you bolster across all your characters in this second part you can see the new rewards on the free track you'll be able to obtain a bundle of tokens there along with then an artifact choice pack we've had this in the past it's just a staff of flowers charm in the trobian's ring do not recommend the trobian's ring whatsoever i have it here on mythic it has low stats compared to now the higher ones at 1200 and its effect is not really any. It can help stun some adds for a short period and have a little Skaladar which is going to do some damage but it's, it's nothing special. That artifact, then the other option is a Staff of Flowers. Yes, that can be pretty good at slowing enemies. You can see that here in the collections. Again, it only has 600 item level, but it does quite a decent amount of damage in AoE. But again, nothing competes with like the Venom Storyteller Journal as an AoE artifact. And outside of that, you have like your Dragon Bone Blades also really good in AoE. And otherwise, AoE, not a big deal, guys. Don't invest anything into it, really. And uh, yeah, then the last option is the Charm of the Serpent, which I would recommend as a debuff artifact. Again, we can see in the collections here, the Charm of the Serpent will give the benefit of increasing the damage that your target takes by 10% for 10 seconds. It's just here in the collections. You can see its bonuses there, and it's one of the ones I recommend. But again, lower item level, not as appealing if you're a damage dealer, but as a support, it's uh, very decent. And with that, you'll get two enchanted keys. Why not? And an astral lockbox, which is a lockbox you don't need a key to open, so that's pretty neat. If you did go and get the premium pass, well, that's two astral lockboxes, a pack with a bunch of vanity pets, yeah, guys, they're just vanity pets. Nothing to get too excited about. But it does say it has a ravenous abyssal chick. This is probably going to be similar to the abyssal chick. Here, the green one. But I assume it will look a, a, a little bit more extravagant since it's legendary. I can't show it to you here right now because we're in uh, examined. Well, I just finished. So I'm in this instance. So it's, it's up to you what you want to choose there. And very nicely, I believe they've made vanity pets inspectable. Like if you right click on them, you can inspect them and you can have a look at them like this in a, a larger form. I believe we can do this with the abyssal chick here as well. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. You'll be able to inspect them then before you choose and decide which one you want to have as just a again a vanity pet following you around. Four keys and a call boat. Why not? Nothing too exciting, nothing at all, in my opinion, in this battle pass overall either. 
the value is there in just the core mods, the bag, some scrolls, some account-wide mounts and companions there on Legendary. In particular, the third part here does have the benefit of this pack right there, giving you the choice of like the Icosahedron Ion Stone, which is pretty exclusive, but it is an augment, so... Yeah, right now the meta in Endgame has shifted a lot away from augments because the amount of ratings you get from auras from your sub tanks and healers in a group like with pack tactics, mystic aura, runic aura, plus the guild food update, all these have just made it very easy to get ratings plus even boots that are giving 10,000 ratings, these dragon steel ones. So yeah, ratings coming from augments not the best but it does have the account wide minsk and that's generally what i would choose from that pack and can be worth its value if you like to upgrade multiple damage dealers ah yes a, a quick note just be warned if you are free to play and don't intend to ever get the premium pass be aware that this ends not july the 18th it ends by the time the second one begins which is june the 6th so this second part Make sure within the time frame of these five weeks, you get all your progress points. You're getting again your progress points like the first part, doing your random cues. But this time we actually have to do heroic encounters instead of lockdown events. As you could see with Starless Sky, you need to kill those Drider Captains. Now you will have to do your major heroics. You're actually going to have to do your Ceramorphis or your Incursion in order to get those 75 points. Again, if you don't, if you haven't unlocked Manza Branson, which I highly recommend you do because you can get there regardless of the item level. If you don't want to bother with the zone or these heroics, you can just do your skirmish and dungeon queue and you should be able to get enough points. And the point system goes like this. One of them gives you 115, the other one gives 135 and the other one 75 maximum you need is 4,000. You do all three tasks every day and it's only going to take you like 13 days maximum to complete all of that. You have five weeks of so plenty of time. You can even just do every day your random skirmish queue and you should be able to get enough progress over the course of five weeks. Massive thank you again to all these channel members for their continued support and we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.